your comfort level as a coach within a game? I know not having a ton of experience coming in, are you more comfortable now and are you starting to get into a, a groove? I've always, I, I've told people and I've you know, gotten this forewarning for years that this transition, if it ever happens, wherever it would happen, would be astronomical. It'd be, oh my goodness, you're now slid over 18 inches or in a new seat. For me, it has been as natural and as easy. I don't know, I don't have anything to compare it to, but from, from my standpoint, um, you know, I joked that with a few people around me that are close to me, I should have been doing this a long time ago. You know, it's, um, for me, it's been really, really natural. Just, I, I don't know why. Is it my experience over the years? I've had some pretty good mentors. You know, I've been fortunate. You know, you have a Hall of Famer in Coach Ryan who you get mentored by and, and watch, and it wasn't like I was living under a rock for 25 years. Um, I've listened and I've watched, and I've, I have binders upon binders of notes. Um, and I know and still you step into it yourself, but you're always in that mode mentally, you know, and then I have Coach Izzo and what he's done for me and how he's kind of guided me. I mean, I, you have input that I've taken from people over the years is, is um, you know, but always mentally was probably try to put myself in that position. So from my standpoint, I, I haven't asked anybody else, but it, it's been extremely normal and natural and, and you know, um, I, I, those are probably the two words to, to describe it the best. What's it like for you emotionally after a game compared to when you were sitting 18 inches the other side? Uh, more, more draining. You feel a little more, you know, like you've gone 12 rounds. Um, but for me, you know, I've always tried to be pretty even keeled emotionally, so I don't get too high when things are going really well. And you know, you don't get too low when things don't go well. But it's it's because uh, it's a two-hour span where you're pretty laser focused, and uh, and and you can't get too out of check emotionally because what message does that send to your team? And I have to communicate with them every four minutes in those timeouts. So if I'm, you know, I've lost my mind in that standpoint, then I, you know, I'm not doing a good job of communicating and adjusting as we go on. And they found they've learned that I adjust and tweak things quite a bit in those timeouts. That dry erase board, they were kind of all shocked the first time they saw that pulled out. I said, no, Coach Guard, well, I'll use one of these, so get ready, pay attention. They don't drift off to sleep in the timeout, I'll tell you that. They're all locked in, so they never know what I might draw up there. Usually, I we practice what we do. I don't pull anything out of thin air. I usually make sure we at least have seen it before I go into my bag of tricks. Yeah, You mentioned the mentors that you had. They're, I guess, sideline mentality and the sideline the way that they work the sideline pretty much complete different opposite than than the way you do it is that intended or is that just you being you i've always understood that i need to be myself i need to coach my personality i need to communicate to my personality and there'll be times when i'm a little blood pressure goes up a little bit more than others but for the most part uh, i need to be myself i can't pretend to be somebody else um nor should I, nor would I. It's it's not sending the right message, and that's not who I am. I've just tried to be, you know, who I am, and I've told the players that from day one. That you know, I don't change. My role and responsibilities changes changes as you've heard me say. Um, but who I am and, and how I conduct myself and those things uh, won't won't change.